Thank <laughs> you. 
Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our celebration of the Easter Vigil. As we begin our Easter Vigil, I invite you to join us outside. I understand it is not currently raining. So we will be outside in the parking lot for the blessing of fire and the blessing and lighting of the Paschal candle. So I invite you at this time to please bring your candles and process with us out to the parking lot.
Dear brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night in which the Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity in this way, listening to his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him in God. Fred, light it up. Let us pray. O oh God, who through your Son bestowed upon your faithful the fire of your glory, sanctify this new fire, we pray and grant that by these Paschal celebrations we may be so inflamed with heavenly desires that with minds made pure we may attain festivities of an ending splendor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, all time belongs to him, and all the ages. To him be glory and power through every age forever by this holy, by his holy and glorious wounds, may Christ the Lord guard us and protect us. Amen. May the light of Christ rising in glory dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. This time we ask you to please carefully return to your pews in the church. Please remain standing as we will begin the procession with the Paschal candle. As the candle comes to you, please light your candle from it and light other people's candles around you. But at this time, please return to your pews and remain standing.
Exalt, let them exalt the host of heaven. Exalt, let angel ministers of God exalt. Let the trumpet of salvation sound aloud our mighty King's triumph. Be glad, let earth be glad as glory floods her, ablaze with light from her eternal King. Let all corners of the earth be glad, knowing an end to gloom and darkness. Rejoice, let Mother Church also rejoice, arrayed with the lightning of his glory. Let this holy building shake with joy, filled with the mighty voices of the peoples. Therefore, dearest friends, Standing in the awesome glory of this holy light, invoke with me, I ask you, the mercy of God Almighty, that he who has been pleased to number me, the one worthy among the Levites, may pour into me his light unshadowed, that I may sing this candle's perfect praises. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, with ardent love of mind and heart, and with devoted service of our voice, to acclaim our God invisible, the Almighty Father, and Jesus Christ, our Lord, his Son, his only begotten, who for our sake paid Adam's debt to the Eternal Father, and pouring out his own dear blood, Wipe clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. These then are the feast of Passover, in which is slain the Lamb, the one true Lamb, whose blood anoints the doorpost of believers. This is the night when once you led our forebearers, Israel's children, from slavery in Egypt, and made them pass dry shah through the Red Sea. This is the night that with a pillar of fire banished the darkness of sin. This is the night that even now throughout the world sets Christian believers apart from worldly vices and from the gloom of sin, leading them to grace and joining them to his holy ones. This is the night when Christ broke the prison bars of death and rose victorious from the underworld. Our birth would have been no gain had we not been redeemed. O wonder of your humble care for us, O love, O oh, charity beyond all telling, to ransom a slave, you gave away your son. O oh, truly necessary sin of Adam, destroyed completely by the death of Christ. O oh, happy fault, that earned so great, so glorious a Redeemer. O oh, truly blessed night, were thee alone to know the time and hour when Christ rose from the underworld. This is the night of which it is written, <clears throat> The night shall be as bright as day. Dazzling is the night for me, and full of gladness. The sanctifying power of this night dispels wickedness, washes faults away restores innocence to the fallen and joy to mourners, dries out hatred, fosters concord, and brings down the mighty. On this your night of grace, O Holy Father, Accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of bees and of your servants' hands, an evening sacrifice of praise, 
this gift from your most holy church. But now we know the praises of this pillar, which glowing fire ignites for God's honor. A fire into many flames divided, yet never dimmed by sharing of its light. For it is felt by melting wax, drawn out by mother bees, to build a torch so precious. O oh, truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those of earth, and divine to the human. Therefore, O Lord, we pray you that this candle, hallowed to the honor of your name, may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night. Receive it as a pleasing fragrance and let it mingle with the lights of heaven. May this flame be found still burning by the morning star, the one morning star who never sets. Christ, your Son, who coming back from death's domain has shed his peaceful light on humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Before we extinguish our candles, I invite you to please take a look around the church. See this vision that you see now. This vision of the light of Christ shining that each of you is holding. This is the vision I want you to remember of our Easter vigil. And keep that light burning in your life and the life of your family when we leave here tonight. But for now, as we continue our celebration, I invite you to please carefully extinguish your candles. Pulling the cup forward to keep the hot wax from dripping on the pews and the floor, and be seated. Dear brothers and sisters, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the word of God. Let us meditate on how God has past, saved his people, and in these the last days has sent his Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this Paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, 
and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made and found it very good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord God, how great you are. Clothed in majesty and glory. Wrapped in light as in a robe, Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. You pounded the earth on its face to stand firm from age to age. You wrapped it with the ocean like a cloak. The water stood higher than the mountains. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow in between the hills. On their banks dwell the birds of heaven. From the branches they sing their song. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. From your dwelling you water the hills. Earth drinks its fill of your gift. You make the grass grow for the cattle and the plants to serve man's needs, that he may bring forth bread from the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works, may those who have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than the world's creation in the beginning, except that at the end of the ages, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward, and you lift up your staff and... With hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two, that the Israelites may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and his charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The angel of God, who had been leading Israel's camp, now moved and went around behind them. The column of cloud also 
leaving the front, took up its place behind them so that it came between the camp of the Egyptians and that of Israel. But the cloud now became dark, and thus the night passed without the rival camps coming any closer together all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night, and so it turned into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the Israelites marched into the midst of the sea on dry land, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. The Egyptians followed in pursuit. All Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers went after them right into the midst of the sea. In the night watch, just before dawn, the Lord cast through the column of the fiery cloud upon the Egyptian force a glance that threw it into a panic. And he so clogged their chariot wheels that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and at dawn, the sea flowed back to its normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head on toward the sea when the Lord hurled them into its midst. As the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped, but the Israelites had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus, the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and beheld the great power that the Lord had shown against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord and believed in him and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. I will sing, I will sing to the Lord who sets me free. I will sing, I will sing to the God who sets me free. Pharaoh's army and his chariots got cast into the sea. Pharaoh's army and his chariots got cast into the sea. The Lord is my strength, my protection, and my shield. Pharaoh's army and his chariots got cast into the sea. Our God is a warrior whose name is the Lord, God of might, God of victory. I will sing, I will sing to the Lord who set me free. I will sing, I will sing to the God who sets me free. Pharaoh's army and his chariots got cast into the sea. Pharaoh's army and his chariots got cast into the sea. The brave and the mighty, the pride of Pharaoh's army, God plunged them to the bottom of the sea like a stone. The hand of the Lord is magnificent in power. The Lord has crushed our foes. I will sing, I will sing to the God who sets me free. I will sing, I will sing to the God who sets me free. Pharaoh's army and his chariots got cast into the sea. Pharaoh's army and his chariots got cast into the sea. O God who redeems, who delivers us from 
from slavery. You set us on the mountain of your holy place. Your throne and your temple shall endure for all time. Your reign shall never end. I will sing, I will sing to the God who sets me free. I will sing, I will sing to the God who sets me free. Pharaoh's army and his chariots got cast into the sea. Pharaoh's army and his chariots got cast into the sea. Please stand. Let us pray. Let us pray, O oh God, whose ancient wonders remain undimmed in splendor, even in our day, for what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution by the power of your right hand. Now you bring about as the salvation of the nations through the waters of rebirth. Grant, we pray, that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel's birthright through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, all you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come, without paying and without cost, drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall see delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully, listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David, as I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader, and commander of nations. So shall you summon a nation you knew not, and nations that knew you not shall run to you, because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel who has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous and forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows, and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. 
Among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. You, you will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, sole hope of the world, who by the preaching of your prophets unveiled the mysteries of this present age, graciously increased the longing of your people, for only at the prompting of your grace do the faithful progress in any kind of virtue. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. O God, who make this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption, so that renewed in body and spirit, we may render you undivided service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, 
Are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as being dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> 
At daybreak, on the first day of the week, the women who had come from Galilee with Jesus took spices that they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were puzzling over this, behold, two men in dazzling garments appeared to them. They were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. They said to them, Why do you seek the living one among the dead? He is not here, but he has been raised. Remember what he said to you while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified and rise on the third day. And they remembered his words. Then they returned from the tomb and announced all these things to the eleven and to all the others. The women were Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Mary the mother of James. The others who accompanied them also told this to the apostles, but their story seemed like nonsense and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, bent down and saw the burial cloths alone. Then he went home, amazed at what had happened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Well, good evening, good people. The Easter Vigil is just crammed full of symbols. We have symbols such as water and oil and candles and books and incense and everything that really stimulates the senses in us. It's a service that really has to have some time to soak in, to really sense what is going on, and to look at what the symbols really represent. One of them, of course, tonight is what's called the Paschal candle, the Easter candle. It represents the light of Christ coming into the world. And tonight, you've seen the light of Christ coming into his church. The Easter candle has this vertical sense to it. It also represents our prayers that rise to God. That this risen Christ is rising to God again in this vertical sense. We rise with that. And I was just noticing tonight that when I looked at the ceiling, I could see the candlelight reflecting off the ceiling. But the Easter candle also has the horizontal dimension. You've seen it tonight as you lit your candle, and we've seen that light of Christ spread through the church in that horizontal plane. It represents, of course, the light of Christ shining in all of us. All our prayers that are held together, each one, Essentially, our souls holding hands together. That horizontalness is what we call church. And of course, when you have a vertical and a horizontal together, you get the cross. And it's at that very center of the cross where we meet God personally. Bringing our prayers, taking them to heaven, Christ is with us there as the sign of the cross. And so for Easter and for the rest of Easter season, look for the symbols. Look to understand them and know that when we do pray, those prayers are all around and taken to God. 
Let's enjoy that tonight. Let's enjoy our senses and know that God is with us. We are blessed this year to have with us several members of our community who will be celebrating the sacraments this evening of baptism, confirmation, and first Eucharist. At this time, I invite them to please come forward and stand before us at the head of the community. Dear friends, let us pray to Almighty God for our brothers and sisters who are asking for baptism. God has called them and brought them to this moment. May he grant them light and strength to follow Christ with a resolute heart and to profess the faith of the church. May he give them the new life of the Holy Spirit, whom we are about to call down on this water. I ask everyone to please stand as we pray for those to be baptized through our prayer of the litany of the saints. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Holy angels of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Andrew, Pray for us, St. John. Pray for us, St. Mary Magdalene. Pray for us, St. Stephen. Pray for us, St. Ignatius of Antioch. Pray for us, St. Lawrence. Pray for us, St. Perpetua and St. Felicity. Pray for us, St. Agnes. Pray for us, St. Gregory. Pray for us, St. Augustine. Pray for us, St. Athanasius. Pray for us, St. Basil. Pray for us, St. Martin. Pray for us, St. Benedict. Pray for us, St. Francis and St. Dominic. Pray for us, St. Francis Xavier. Pray for us, St. John Vianney. Pray for us, St. Catherine of Siena. Pray for us, St. Teresa of Jesus. Pray for us, St. Elizabeth. Pray for us, St. Anna. Pray for us, St. Luigi. Pray for us, St. Albert. Pray for us, St. Valentine. Pray for us, St. Nicholas. Pray for us, St. Catherine. Pray for us, St. Boniface. Pray for us, holy men and women, saints of God. Pray for us, Lord be merciful. Lord deliver us, we pray. 
come, O evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray. From every sin, Lord, deliver us, we pray. From everlasting death, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By your incarnation, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By your death and resurrection, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, Lord, deliver us, we pray. Be merciful to us sinners, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bring these chosen ones to new birth through the grace of baptism. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. This time I ask the congregation to please be seated while the candidates remain standing. O God, who by invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect through sacramental signs and who in many ways have prepared water, your creation, to show forth the grace of baptism. O God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration, so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people baptized. O God, whose son baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side, along with blood, and after his resurrection, commanded his disciples, go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the, the face of your church and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature, created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old, may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son and to the fullness of this font, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Springs of water, bless the Lord. Springs of water, bless the Lord. Give Him glory and praise forever. Give Him glory and praise forever. Springs of water, bless the Lord. Give Him glory and praise forever. Turning now to those to be baptized. You have asked to be baptized. Renounce sin and profess your faith now in the presence of this community by answering I do to the following questions. Do you renounce, do you renounce Satan? Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> nice and loud so, everyone, so Satan can hear it. Do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. 
and all his empty show, I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. Okay, Christina, with the boys. You're going to go first. You're going to be right over there. <laughs> You're going to lean right over the farm. Christina, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Okay, lean over the farm, buddy. Nicholas, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Samuel, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Okay, Jacob. Lean over the front. Jacob, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lucas? Okay, lean over the farm. Lucas, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Cheyenne, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And Caroline. Caroline, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Okay, we're going to go back over to my chair. Okay, guys, I'm going to take... Brothers and sisters, 
You have been enlightened by Christ. Walk always as children of the light and keep the flame of faith alive in your hearts. When the Lord comes, may you go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. This time I ask everyone in the congregation to please take your candles in your hands again and please stand. The newly baptized will bring their lights to help light your candles and then once again, please pass the light around the church. Dear friends, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may rise with him to newness of life. Now that we have completed our Lenten observance, let us renew the promises we made in baptism when we rejected Satan and his works and promised to serve God faithfully in his holy Catholic Church. Please respond, I do, to the following questions, and I ask this to everyone in the congregation. Do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show. I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus, our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>
This time I ask you to please, again, once again, carefully extinguish your candles, making sure no wet wax gets on the pews or the floor. Yes, if the candidates could please hand your candles to someone at your pew who can hold them for you because I'm going to need you now to come forward for your confirmation. With your sponsors, please, yes. Please be seated. <laughs> My dear candidates for confirmation, by baptism you have been born again in Christ and have become members of Christ and his priestly people. Now you are to share in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit among us, the Spirit sent by the Lord upon his apostles at Pentecost and given by them and their successors to the baptized. The promise strength of the Holy Spirit, which you are to receive, will make you more like Christ and help you to be witnesses to his suffering, death, and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be active members of the church and to build up the body of Christ in faith and in love. My dear friends, let us pray to God our Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit upon these candidates to strengthen them with his gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with a spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. say, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, you're going to say, Amen. Okay? And I'm going to say, peace be with you, you're going to say, and with your spirit. Okay? Caroline, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Cheyenne, Cheyenne, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. With your spirit. Jacob, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Lucas, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. With your spirit. Christina, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. With your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us celebrate the newest members of our community, fully initiated members of our community today. Please stand for the prayers of the faithful. Gathering our prayers together, we offer them to our Heavenly Father, who we know hears us and answers us. Please respond, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may radiate the light of Christ each day and confidently live as children of God, we pray to the Lord. 
Listen, Lord, hear our prayer. For those from our community and around the world who celebrated the sacraments of initiation this Easter, that they will flourish in their faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Listen, Lord, hear our prayer. For our president, Congress, and all civil leaders, that the graces of Easter will bring them wisdom and courage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, the Lord hear our prayer. For all who do not have faith in the resurrection, that God will touch their hearts and lead them to an, an encounter with the risen Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, the Lord hear our prayer. For all who are lonely, oppressed, or burdened, that the joy of Christ's resurrection will renew their spirits and God's abiding presence will strengthen them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, the Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may come to share in the resurrection and for the special intention of this Mass, Janice Cozen. We pray to the Lord. Lord, the Lord hear our prayer. And gracious God, giver of all gifts, we thank you in a special way for the gift of new life we celebrate through baptism. We ask you to renew the grace of baptism in each of us and help us to live that grace out by shining the light of the risen Christ for all to see through Christ our Lord. Amen. This time I ask those who were just confirmed to please go to the entrance of the church. I ask everyone else to please be seated. Our offertory song is number 178, Christ the Lord is risen today, number 178. Thank you.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our liberty of all of His holy church. Accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may, by the working of your power, bring us to the healing of eternity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this night, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thank and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, 
especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Boniface, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Lawrence, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you with their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer to each other the sign of peace. 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 Just a moment, we will celebrate communion. At that time, I'm going to begin by asking those who were recently confirmed to come forward for communion first. I ask everyone else to please wait until they have received communion before coming forward for communion yourselves. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to change your mind. Only say the word to us, we shall be shall. 
meaning song is number 166, <coughs> Roll Away the Stone, number 166. <laughs>
Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this paschal sacrament one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I want to take a moment to thank everybody who helped make our Holy Week celebrations possible. As always, I always say it doesn't happen magically. I mean, there's a lot of people working behind the scenes and in front of the scenes that make this possible, so we certainly thank all of them. Uh, all the people who helped with our environment, all the people who helped in our ministries these past few days and this past week our music ministry, our folks on the altar, everyone who helped out behind the scenes in other ways. Uh, certainly thank everybody for that. And uh, thank you for coming and praying with us here at St. Boniface. And let's hear it. Well, yes, put yourselves a hand. Okay. <laughs> and maybe one more hand is offering support to our newly baptized and confirmed members of our community. We look forward to seeing you up here on the altar and helping out in all these ways here as members of our parish. So mm -hmm. congratulations again. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity, and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life and the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast Come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God, Alleluia, Alleluia. Our closing song is number 172, Jesus Christ is Risen Today, number 172. <laughs> Yeah.